Hello guys, welcome back to our welcome back to a brand new episode of Survival Mega Mode series, guys. Thank you for joining me today. We play more Primal Fear, and my name is Daniel Funland. Last episode, we didn't manage to come across a spirit Spinosaurus, and today my aim is to go out there and tame the Spinosaurus and still kind of search for the full best potential boss killer. And um, also, I don't want to waste any time, let's just grab the stuff that we need to make that happen. I'm already tracking it down, it was level 135. So it was not the highest level because obviously the max level is 150 to 300, I believe. Because I did change some level gaps on dinosaurs, but sometimes things not working really well. Okay, so we got everything else that we need. We need a tracking device in case things go sad. Like the last, last episode, we tried to fight a. I don't know, we pick on, on the spirit guardian, the boss. And I nearly lost my spirit griffin in the protest, which we did not because it's still alive as you can see guys I managed to retrieve it and actually guys our first time crashed in the game as well during during that part as well which was kind of crazy because I was pissed off because I crashed because after that you just have to go through all the settings again and everything else that you need oh I need to spear it up right now so let's just grab that I went and crafted that so many so I don't have to do it again so let's grab that Okay, we got everything else that we need. We got max XP potion. Oh yeah, we need, let's craft a saddle on the way right now, so we don't have to come back to the base right away. So we can spend more time testing out the spinal saddles actually. Okay, that's good. We got the spirit saddle. I think that's all we need right now actually. We got everything we need, which is good. Anyways, guys, before I go any further into this episode. If you find yourself enjoying today's content by any chance, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and turn the notification on to stay updated to my axes or anything related to different gaming content. So make sure you do that and make sure you smash that like because it does help on my channel to get pushed out to more audience to watch it who enjoy watching our too. So thank you for the support. And let's get into it. So now we're going to use our Spirit Griffin. So now to be pretty, pretty powerful actually, but if I'm going to come across more of them, I'm going to tame more. Like I did with the demonic dinosaurs, sometimes I tame them on twos. But hopefully this time I'm gonna come across more of them because I'm planning to run Dino Wipe pretty much soon after this team. So I can get more uh, spirit dinosaurs spawn in. And if that's gonna happen, then it's gonna be good. Because I'm gonna tame them off camera obviously, because if I tame them on, on footage, it's gonna take time. Because I'm gonna be running with so many Dino Wipes to make that happen. Because I run one Dino Wipe, it's not gonna be there, I'm gonna run another one. And you're just gonna keep going like back and forward until I get what I need, which is more dinosaurs. Ah, I keep hitting the waters this lately. I don't know why, but it just happens. Ooh, did you guys see? We just missed out on getting attacked by something. What was it? I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, the Spinosaurus is not that far actually, which is good. We actually came across the last episode when we were testing now my. Um, Beast dinosaur that we just have right here, but right now lately there's a lot of Omega spawning around. <laughs> Get down these two keyboard. Uh, let's just latch all data before we go anything else because you never know what can we find and what we could get her by or damage. Okay, you are no more Rex. I think I feel like taming and water will be the best option right now. Actually, let me hear him with the. He has 4.9 million topo. That definitely hit. Nice nah, guy. Ooh, ooh he's, I completely forgot about his got special abilities too. Yep, he's dropping a bombs. He's indeed a uh, dropping a bombs. And he's not happy about it. I just hit him up with the trunks. Okay, let's get him on this side, a little bit on the land side. If he comes. Uh, doesn't look like it, but the topo is going pretty good up, really good. Okay, it's kind of close to the edge, which is not bad. I'm just going to have to get rid of some of the dinosaurs, maybe. I don't think I need to even kill dinosaurs here right now, because some of them are passive dinosaurs around here, which is good. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, game. Let me access him. Uh huh. Spear it up in. And we got ourselves a Spinosaurus. Nice. I do have a saddle, good. Max XP potion on you. And then we're gonna give you Dino Trucker. Uh, and I believe that's all for now. 
Okay, now we're just gonna grab my flyer. And now we can test you. We're in a good area to test you as well, because there's a lot of dinosaurs around here. 120,000 damage? That's actually pretty good. Oh, 130. Actually, this is not bad. This is actually pretty, pretty powerful. Okay, he may have pretty good levels into... Oh, he has 26 levels into damage. Okay, that's not bad. For first of all, 130 damage is really high. Okay, okay. Now I'm speaking of something. No wonder my Spinosaurus are always my number one favorite dinosaurs. Let's see his attack. He's got giant two balls. Dropping at once. Wow. Okay, this one looks... There's more explosions. <laughs> Than any Rex and then oh my spirit griffin. This one is like a two giant balls swimming in the sky. Which is nice because this one is like a double attack the same amount. Look at that. There's two giant balls spread into like six. So that's literally 12 giant balls spreading around the area. And there's more chaos. Okay, that's not bad actually. That turns out to be really powerful. And you can kind of aim it. Okay, that's not bad. Actually, and he has the fire breath a little bit as well, I believe. Um, okay, let's check the fire breath right here. Let's just get up. Okay, that's like a 7k, which is not bad. Actually, Spinal Cells turned out to be pretty interesting. Okay, now we got 251 levels to put it somewhere. Let's put in the health 100. And let's see if it has any good levels into health. At the moment, I can tell it does not have really good levels into health. Because obviously, we're kind of barely going to reach any 20 minutes so far. And we're already halfway on the levels. 10 levels into stamina. Okay, pushing. We got around 20, 20.5, 20.6 20 if we round it up. And then, let's make it 26. There you go, 26. So 26 million, and uh, let's see the damage, because he had 26 level into damage, I believe. It was seen there, right? Hopefully I did, because that means it's going to turn out to be pretty powerful, it's going to hit hard. And that's something we do need, really need, but at the same time, we do need our health. So that means if I find some spinal stars off camera, I will definitely tame more of them with higher level. And maybe one day I'm just going to put them in a boss fight. All of them at once. Okay, time to find out the full potential max level Spinal Saros. 700,000 guys. 700,000! It's close to my Spirit Rex. Okay, this is actually turned out pretty, to be kind of OP. And let's go, does that was a stand up now about 2 feet? Okay, 790. Let's go in the water, get some boost. Yeah, 900,000. 900,000 guys if we go in a war. Okay. And now let's do the explosions. 100, 168 to 254,000. I feel like we need to test this out against a boss. So which we, we probably could get some bosses because we do have a lot of them. We do have the origin bosses. Which I could probably make it now. Let's go teleport home. And test it out against big numbers that will damage dinosaurs. Now let's see how long it's gonna take us to kill some of them. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised you became really powerful. And he has 26 million. As I tell you guys, because I did put extra one level into it, so to make it 26 million. Uh, the bosses should be here. We, let's go with penguins. Um, I don't know what was that. Oh, he followed me. Okay, I was about to say, what is that? Ex movement and shaking ground all things are happening okay 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 but look i'm stuck which is fine we can just teleport somewhere in good location because we do need to test them out against boss penguins are pretty good because they do have pretty good mana what is that there oh that's gacha i was about to say that gacha has got a lot of stamina i think it uh, i mean knockout going on okay let's stay in the water and let's try with the penguins, because penguins have a pretty good amount of health, so I'm going to summon in the first one. 
I don't know why it's doing 360, but it's kind of bugged out, I believe, so it's just fine. Okay, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. 400,000 400, petic. We're doing literally, ooh, ooh. Nearly 30k. Okay, that's actually not bad. If we hit him directly, even better, I believe. So let's back up. Yeah, I'm 400,000 per tick. Which is pretty interesting because we hit him around three times. Okay, let's try again. A little bit few of them more. Try to not crash this time, I guess. Will be the best option. There you go. Some of them do, we do less, but we're still doing the 400 per tick. And we are draining the 19 million like nothing. Wow. Okay, you may turn out, turn out to be really powerful then. I did not expect that. Um, this time, as you can see, I'm so many money for low, low numbers. I'm not so many for like 10 of them at once because always oh, I don't want to crash again. Okay, that's great. Okay, we find probably our next potential boss killer. If this is gonna be always like that, because I would love to get a uh, higher level. I believe like 150 would be a really good chance to gain that. If we could, because that would give us extra levels into some of the good stats maybe. But obviously you never know, because some of the stats can be all into just stamina and water, oxygen, some nonsense. So yeah, sometimes we come across this situation which is not nice. Okay, let's throw them in. Take some of that, and yes, we're doing a pretty good amount. Right now we're doing about 262,000, which is not bad. But we, oh, I don't want to take 400k damage. Okay, okay, we're kind of one-showing this, looks like, which is not bad. We're one-showing two, two to three penguins at once, which is nice. At the moment, it's kind of still bugging out for some reason, but it's okay. We do 98 million damage with this bomb. Okay, definitely gonna be a really good attack. But I don't, what does this actually work against the uh, Guardian Kill Dinosaur? Because I don't know, because them dinosaurs to be t really powerful. And that's the reason I'm telling you guys, we need a good amount of health for that to happen. Because the uh, Guardian Dinosaurs, they hit hard. They one shot, one shot maybe the minute, five, 50 million health, I bet if they one shot maybe that, which was something you don't want to find out. You don't want to see, because obviously 50 million health is a lot. And he one shot me. Okay, this penguin is trying to come close, that looks like. Oh, this time we didn't one shot it, looks like. Okay, this is turned out to be really good. Really good. And now we got extra tokens. Perfect. Okay, let me just transfer everything on me. And put the tributes on you. Oh, I need to connect my controller really for this. Oh, sometimes it does happen like that. Like, if you start the game with the controller, you cannot use it anymore. No so you have to do everything by transfer like this. Oh my god. Okay, that should be fine. Because I just want to keep my tributes there. And everything else I'm going to do by hand because... I don't want to keep plugging my control in, that's for sure. So we're going to just keep the good stuff. And drop the things that we won't really need. Because obviously we can get these things right away. Pretty easy now. Mm, my taming potion. I did, did not bring taming potion, right? So I believe this is all I need. I'm a so good. And maybe the stamina potion will be good. And the rest of it I can just pretty much drop because I already got powerful enough armor. Okay, this turned out, turned out to be a pretty good episode, guys. We did, did not die. We tamed a powerful dinosaur in the protest. We killed some 20 penguins. Which is not bad. Is there any faster way to drop this stuff, guys? Because I mean, I'm holding the letter O and just... It doesn't do the fastest way, but it does spare than me, actually. So yeah, that was not bad. 
We're getting closer closer to finding out the most powerful dinosaur, the spirits. So far I think the uh, Rex still takes the spot because obviously his damage does a little bit more. But at the moment I will say the uh, second one's gonna be definitely gonna be the Spinosaurus because he does a really good damage. Okay, let's step on back to the base guys because this episode is not gonna be long it looks like because once we find out how powerful is the Spinosaurus, I'm really glad that like, I'm entertaining. So now we got another third dinosaur out of the top level family. I mean huge family because you can tell we got plenty of dinosaurs. I love them actually. A lot of Spinosaurus. We got two of them or three maybe. I think I should keep it somewhere around. Maybe here. Like this should be fine. Uh, as long as it doesn't block too much space, should be fine. Anyways, I gotta leave him right here. Or maybe I can get rid of some Celestials. And that's it, I guess. Anyways, guys, I'm probably gonna end up the episode right here. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and turn the notification on. And hopefully subscribe to the channel, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. So thank, take care of yourself, and see you guys. Bye-bye.